Hello students, today I am in front of you with your second practical which is study of logic gates and De Morgan's theorem. Now this gates you are already studying in your electronics paper in chapter 4. Okay, I'll just revise them and inform you that what we do actually in the lab to check what is the, what is the way you can verify how the or and not which are the three universal gates and these two are the derived gate from this universal gate, right? So we'll begin with the first gate, that is the OR gate. So OR gate moment you say you have to draw this basic symbol. So in this OR you have input A, input B, and Y is the output. And the equation is given by Y is equal to A plus B. So the IC which is available in the market, okay, helps you to check is the OR gate working properly or not. So I'll show you that. So over here, the IC name is IC7432 is the 14 pin IC available in the market for this OR gate. So how to draw that? So here I have the IC. So this is, I'll just draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Then here I have 8, 9, then 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then this is 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So usually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay, 8, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Right. So over here, usually the pin number 7 is for the ground. So we'll mention the names over here. So pin number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We will come back over here which is 8, 9, 10, 11, 11, 12, 13 and 14. Right. So, in this case, my pin number 7 is ground and pin number 14 is plus VCC, which is plus 5 volt. So, this OR symbol is inside this IC, which I will show you how you are supposed to draw it. So, over here, I will show input 1 and 2 given to the OR gate and then this output goes to pin number 3. Same way will happen for pin number 4, pin number 5. This is the way it will come over here. Right? Okay. This is right. Then as far as this is concerned, I have to show pin number 9, pin number 10 will be having So this is the way I will show it to pin number 8. Then similarly over here I will show 13, 12. This will be like this. And the output will come over here. This is the way. Right? So in the lab what you do? You have a circuit board which is wooden board. There you have a place to put the IC on the PCB which is printed circuit board. You do have a power supply to give this plus 5 volt and you do have on the bottom the ground connection. So you, what you need to do? You need to put this plus 5 volt, put the connection on, put. Now you need to check how you get 1 and 2, the output should come over here. So A and B if it is 
what what is a truth table in this case we usually use the word truth table for the orbit which is a plus b so my a b and y right so over here i know if my inputs are 0 0 it can be 0 1 it can be 1 0 or it can be 1 1 in place in case of or get it should be 0 1 1 and 1 which means when i will get the output over here in one of the part one of the circuit one of the or get so when this 1 and 2 are either 0 or 1 that time i should get the output 1 so in this case you have used a led which is light emitting diode right so light emitting diode usually is either you find in red color or green color or yellow color or whatever. So basically it is a LED is like this little curve and here you have this three plates, two plates over here. Now you need to connect the anode over here correct, right? and the cathode will go to ground correct. Right? and depending on the input either it is 0 1 1 0 or 1 1 the led will glow which is the verification that the or gate is functioning properly so this ic ic 7432 will do that job to verify how the truth table for the or gate is going to give you the proper output for the given input choice this is either 0 0 0 1 1 0 or 1 correct now we'll move to the Second one, which is the AND gate. So, moment you say AND gate, what you have here? You need to check, change the IC number. You need to change even the inside. And you need to change the equation. This all should be same. So for the AND gate, you need to have the gate to be like this. So this is nothing but A into B. You have to multiply that. So here also the output will change. Right? So when you say this is AND gate, the IC number for AND gate is 7408. So 0 and 0 will definitely give me the 0 output. But for 0 on 1, this will also give me 0. 1, 0 also will be given 0. And only 1, 1 will be able to give me the output to be 1. So in this case, the same fashion, what you have drawn over here, we'll have to show. So over here, I show a AND gate, whose output will be given to pin number 3. Same way, here I show a AND gate. The output will go to pin number 6. 7 is always ground. Then as far as this 8, 9 is concerned, I have to give input. And the output will be at pin number 10. Similarly, here I have to show. So this is the way usually the circuit will work. Same logic. On the board, this IC will be placed, correct? You need to give the power supply, VCC, and obviously connect the ground wires also. Then when this 1 and 2 input is 1 and 1, only then your LED is going to glow. So LED anode will be over here, correct? And cathode will be at the ground. That will help us to study your second universal gate, which is called as the AND gate, which is IC 7408. Okay. With this, we'll move to the NOT gate. NOT gate is very simple. You have only one input. Right? The input is 0. The output will be 1 and vice versa. Okay. So how that works? I'll just show you how you are going to get the This is the way I have to okay. 
so many in cookies so for the knot bit we have finished with our hand line now we are moving towards the knot so in this case we just have one input right and it is shown in this fashion So my input is suppose A, the output Y will be nothing but A. So the truth table will be A and Y. So if my input is 0, output will be 1. And if input is 1, output will be 0. That's the smallest possible truth table which is there for my not get. So inside, how will I show this not get over here? I'll have to show with 1 to 2. So here I'll show a smallest possible way connected to from 2 to 4, then 5 to 6. 7 is obviously the ground. Then I have to connect from 9 to 8. 11 to 10 and 13 to 12 and this is this is so again put the LED when the LED when you keep the input 1 over here you are going to get 0 right 1 you are going to get 0 means LED will not glow but when you are giving the input to be 0 you are going to get the output to be 1 so that then the LED will glow depending on the connection. Obviously, you need to put your plus 5 volt VCC and the ground connection properly. That's the first. Then we'll go towards what is called as the NOR gate. Now, NOR gate is basically addition of OR and NOT. Correct. So that we'll have to put together. Okay, I didn't mention about the IC for the NOR gate. IC for the NOR gate is 7404. 7404 IC will be able to do this job of doing exactly opposite or reverse of the input. Right? We will move towards now the NOR gate. Right? Now for the NOR gate, we will have to first change the name, change this. So over here, the NOR gate now. So NOR gate will be addition of OR plus AND. Sorry, OR, OR plus NOT. Right? So, which means we will be having a OR gate first. To which I will be connecting a NOR gate. So this is my a, this is my B, and this is my Y. Right? So in this case, I am going to write my equation as Y is equal to A plus B bar. Right? A plus B, on top of that, I will be showing the bar. And over here, the IC is 740. Now over here to show the truth table, I have to show A, B and Y. Obviously the choices are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. I need to check what will happen over here. So if it is, if it is 0, 0, obviously this will be 0. So this will be 1. If it is 0, 1, even then output will be 1. So this will be 0. When you put 1, 0, it will be 1, but this will be 0. And when it is 1, 1, this will be 1, but this will be 0. So this is in short the truth table what you get for the market. Now we'll check what happens inside this. So over here we'll have to put a NOR gate. So the diagram will be 
like this. Here I put a dot and I put it to the end of the dot. Correct. Similarly, okay, what I'm doing over here instead of drawing this, I can draw it this way also. A, B, put a dot here, which means I'm doing the job over here. So that's what I showed over here. So here it is again round. Then we'll try and put in the same fashion what is over here. So 8 and 9 will come over here. So this is my connection will go over here. Similarly, I have So this is the way this circuit is going to work. So IC 7402 will do the job of doing the operation of NOR, which is the addition of OR plus the NOT get. So depending on the choices, 001, 011, 011 will be getting the output in this fashion. So LED will glow only once. Okay? When both inputs are zero, when both the inputs are equal to zero, you will be getting the value of Y is A plus B bar in this fashion. So only once it will go low, this LED, if you put it over here at this point, okay, so anode will be over here and cathode will be grounded. These connections is a must if anybody you want to check this. And now we'll move towards the NAND gate. So NAND gate, what will I do? I'll replace this by AND, not will be as it is, even change the sign and then we will work it out, right? So over here, first job is to change the number change this, change this, change the equation, yeah. So first job is the NAND gate, NAND gate will be AND plus NOT, so AND will be like this, AND NOT, so here I will draw it in this fashion. So this will be A dot B bar, right? Okay, the IC which is used for the NAND gate is simply IC for the 7400, right? Now for the NAND gate, we'll have to change the ICs inside. So we'll be showing in this fashion. So here I have 1, 2 as usual now, 1 and 2, put a dot, we will come to pin number 3, pin number 4, 5, we will come to pin number 6, 7 is ground, then as far as this part is concerned, we will have to put so 9 and 10 together inputs. And the output will come over here. In this case, we'll have to check 13 and 12. And the output will be at pin number 10. So this is the way we will work it out. Now, when you have input 0, 0, output will be 0. So this will be 1. In the next case, if it is 0, 1, even then this will be 0. So you have the output 1. If it is 1, 0, then also this is 0, so this will be 1. And both are 1, this is 1, so output will be 0. So this is the truth table, what one can show over here as far as the last important gate is concerned, which is a combination of AND plus NOT. So AND, operational DBS again, just reverse of that, then you are going to get the output in this fashion. So after reaching the logic gates, we'll move towards the De Morgan's theorem. There are two theorems which is given by the De Morgan, so that we try and try and do it. So as far as De Morgan theorem is concerned, I just rub this part completely. So 
So the first law is D modulus. First law, the complement of product is equal to sum of the complement very interesting one so for this what we need to show we need to show complement of the product which means a dot b bar is equal to a bar plus b bar correct so over here we have to show first a plus b a dot b so a dot b means and get so i'll have to show for and get over here and to which i'll have to put a not get so this is my input a this is input b here i'll get a dot b and here i'll get y to be a dot b complement correct similarly now right side part i have to show so what i have to show over here i have to show a not get first the another not get and here i have to show the or get is y so a b this is a bar b bar and this will be a bar plus b bar so we have to show in this case that the complement of product this is product is equal to sum of the complement this is sum of the complement okay. so in short the last two tables should be equal that is the way we have to prove it so suppose i make a table which is a b Correct. Then a dot b. Correct. Then I say a bar b bar. Then I say a dot b bar, and here I say a bar plus b bar. All these values we need to verify it and put. And just put this over here. Correct. Now the choices for a b are zero zero, zero one, one zero, and one one. Fine. When you say zero zero, you know how the AND get works. This has to be zero. This has to be zero. This has to be zero. This has to be one. Then a bar. If, if this is zero, I'll have to write. I just bring a ka, a complement. So zero one. This is one. This is zero. This is. One. Then make for b also. So this is one zero one zero. Then a dot b. Right bar. So how will we do that? This is a dot. So I'll make it one, 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 zero. And I have to do what? A plus b bar. Right. So here, what is a bar? A bar is over here. And b bar. So a bar plus b bar. One plus one will be one. One plus zero will be also one. Zero plus one also will be one. And zero plus zero will be zero. So in short, we could show. These two tables are same. So a dot b is one 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 zero and a bar plus b bar is one 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 zero, which means I have proved my first theorem of D modulus, which is complement of product is equal to sum of complement in this or by this table. So here I just made a and b normal inputs. First did only the and get. Then made the complement a bar b bar. Then just a dot b complement. So if it is zero, it has to be one. If it is one, it it has to be zero. And in this case, I just a bar plus b bar. So these two are the inputs. I need to use the or get, or I should say nor get. So here I did one plus one to be one. One plus zero one. Zero plus one one and zero plus zero zero. So if these two are same, which we have proved are D Morgan's first set. Now we'll go to the D Morgan's second here. So what you need to change? You just need to change the word product to sum and sum to product. That everything remains same. 
and change the dynamics, right? So I'll just show you what does it mean. So this is complement of sum is equal to product of complement, right? So here I have to change even this part only I will change. What we said over here, complement of sum. So which means A plus B bar is equal to A bar dot B. Right? So for this part, what I'll have to show, I'll have to show the or get to which to the not get. So we'll get one. So this is A. This is B, this is A plus B bar. Fine. As far as this is concerned, what I'll have to show? I'll have to show a not get first. This is B. Connect them to the. This is my not get. So here I'll have to put the and get. So this is A bar, this is B bar and Y should be A bar dot B bar. I need to show this and this to be equal. So first part A B. Then next should be A plus B because here I get A plus B. Then A plus, okay we will write this and this later. So A plus B, fine. Then next table should be A bar, B bar, then A plus B bar, then A bar dot B bar. Yeah, this is the way we will do the truth table. Right? So when the inputs for the OR get are 0, 0, I will be getting over here 0. But when the one of the input is 1, I have to get it to be 1. So this is 1, 1 and 1 because this is a or get. Fine. Moment I come to A bar. So if it is 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. Just complete it. For B, I write 1, 0, 1, 0. Now I have to do A plus B complement. So if it is 0, it is 1. If it is 1, it is 0. Fine. And as far as A bar dot B bar, if it is 1, 1, right, I have to multiply them, 1, but for and get, 1, 0 will be 0, 0, 1 will be 0, and 0, 0 will be also 0, right. Even so, for this also, you have been given on the board the, exactly the proper ICs, right. So, depending on what input you are going to give, the circuit board, the IC will be able to show you exactly the output in which you are studied or you are interested in. So this is my second De Morgan's theorem, which is complement of the sum is equal to product of the complement. Right? So this is the, I suppose, easiest practical which one should do in the laboratory because you know the output because you have done theory. You have complete theory in your syllabus, which is chapter number four. I think the exams are coming in next month. So you must be studying that. So this must be already known to you. But how you do in the laboratory, that's what was my job to show you. So this is the way I showed you. Okay. I hope you have understood even the first practical and this practical. If you are okay with it, fine. If you have no doubts, please don't have hesitation to directly message me by which I'll be able to solve your difficulty. One more important thing. If you like the video, don't forget to write your name in the comment section. And if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thank you very much.